A legislative committee is looking at changes to the Senate-backed gun bill before it's voted on by the House. I think all Vermonters deserve the freedom to be safe at their home, at their work, at their schools, without the constant threat of gun violence hanging over their heads. Some members of the House Committee on Judiciary say the bill should, among other things, prohibit the sale of semi-automatic assault weapons, include a 10-day waiting period for background checks before transferring firearms, and outlaw new sales and ownership of magazines that hold more than 10 rounds of ammunition in the state. Well, what we've seen from mass shootings across the country is that the use of these magazine clips and the ability to shoot lots and lots of, of uh, bullets at one time but some worry the bill won't actually help keep Vermonters safe. We're defending lawful gun owners exercising their right. We're not defending criminals. The Vermont Federation on Sportsman's Clubs is calling for a public hearing on the bill, saying people need to weigh in on these proposals. Things like weapons choice and things like magazine capacity choice, where you can carry choice, whether you have to have it locked in the home so it's not accessible, um, is a, is those are choices for you to exercise the right of self-defense, which is your individual right. But Representative Jill Krowinski feels strongly that these changes are important. We know that in Vermont we are not immune and that's why we are working hard to act in the House and to pass legislation that will keep people safe. As proposed now, lawful gun owners wouldn't be punished if they already own a semi-automatic assault weapon or magazines that hold more than 10 rounds. The revised bill could reach the House floor by the end of the week. In Montpelier, Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News.